Patrick, Sadie, and James went to see Aladdin with Nanny and Bopa on Memorial Day. Tessie and Maggie don't do great in theaters, especially if they're not like a sensory movie, and since this was not going to be a sensory movie, we stayed home. But I wanted to do something fun for the girls, and so when it turned out to not be a rainy day, finally, and when it was actually nice and warm, I had a plan. We hauled out the little swimming pools onto the porch, and we got ready for a pool party. Maggie was so excited. The best part, I think, was that I had to take the big blue pool and I had to throw it over the edge of the fence and I went back around and I was planning on having to go down and carry it up onto the porch and I got there and it was already there. Maggie had gone down into the yard and she carried the huge giant pool up and put it exactly where it went last year so she had basically got it gotten it already herself. She had all three of the pools arranged on the porch and I went outside and I turned the hose on and I handed it up to her and it had like one of those turny valves on it on the top and I said wait for me Maggie I'll be up there in a second I don't think there's any because at that point I actually couldn't feel any water in the hose and I thought that there was a kink on the other side of the fence so I was planning on going out I said I don't think there's any water in it and I hand the hose up to her and she like points it away from her turns it on and water starts shooting out and I was like, okay, I guess there is. And she proceeded to fill up the pools and she did a pretty good job of it. Usually Sadie and Patch are there and they're fighting over who's gonna fill up the pools. And so Maggie never really gets a chance to fill them up. And she never has really showed a ton of interest in filling them up before. So it was really, really cool. And the two girls had a ton of fun together having their own special little pool party. And that I guess means that it is finally pool party season. This is what I mean when I say pool party at our house. It's these three little pools that we have on our porch that the kids go out and play in while I sit there and watch them. It's not actually like a big pool. It's the little pools. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so the little pools will be a big part of our summer this year. Although in other news, I have donated plasma I have donated plasma probably about 20 to 30 times a lot <laughs> in the last several months basically to save up enough for a family pass at the local water park and pool. It's for two different pools at two different locations. And so as of today I finally have enough just in time too. I'm pretty excited about that because we have to drive up to that town anyways to take the girls to therapy and they are gonna have therapy all summer and I need something for the other kids to do and these pools have like awesome lifeguards and really great shallow sections so I want to work really hard with all of the kids on teaching all of them how to swim. Sadie's an okay swimmer, Patrick and James not at all. I don't know, I need to watch Maggie because Maggie's had swim lessons all year long at school. So I need to figure out if she can swim at all at this point. And Desi not at all and she thinks that she can swim. So my goal this year, teaching them how to actually swim as much as possible. I was a swim instructor for eight years, so I should be able to do this. I've taught so many people how to swim. I need to teach my own kids how to swim. That's how busy we've been for the last decade. I've been so busy that I haven't taught anybody how to swim. So my goal for the summer, I'm saying it here, teach everyone, including Maggie, how to swim. Let's see if this happens. But I'm saying it out loud, so it has to happen now. I'm committing. Anyways, here's the pool party. <laughs> oh, keep it in the pool, Maggie. Keep the hose in the pool. Maggie, look where you're squirting. Maggie, hose in the pool, please. Good job. You are such a big girl. I think this is the first time you've been big enough to be the one to do this. Or at least this is the first time your sister hasn't been here and Patrick hasn't been here to take the hose away, huh? I'm still gonna get nailed with that thing eventually. Eee. He's doing a really good job though. Eee. Eee. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, that thing certainly has turned up higher than I thought it was. Well, look what you're doing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
today if you like this video we would love it if you give it a thumbs up and if you're interested in all things autism we would love it if you hit subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow bye